Mind Your Manners, Alice Roosevelt. Written by Leslie Kimmelman. Illustrated by Adam Gustafson. Oops. Okay. Redo. <clears throat> Mind Your Manners, Alice Roosevelt. Written by Leslie Kimmelman. Illustrated by Adam Gustafson. Teddy Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States, was a strong and clever man. He could handle almost anything. Teddy knew how to handle sickness. He had been so sick as a child that he had to be schooled at home. He exercised hard, and little by little, his health improved. From then on, even when he got sick, he never complained. But Teddy Roosevelt didn't always know how to handle his oldest daughter, Alice. Alice, get down from that sofa. Alice, why can't you dress like everybody else? Teddy knew how to handle fighting. During the Spanish-American War, Rough Rider Roosevelt led a famous charge up San Juan Hill. Teddy knew how to handle New York. He was governor of the state for two years. But Teddy Roosevelt didn't always know how to handle his oldest daughter, Alice. Alice, please calm down. Alice, leave the pigs alone. Alice, mind your manners. Teddy knew how to handle being vice president of the United States. Then, when President McKinley died suddenly in 1901, Teddy took charge and learned how to handle being president. But Teddy Roosevelt didn't always know how to handle his oldest daughter, Alice. Alice, we don't need asparagus with gloves on. Alice, that's not how you ride a bicycle. Alice, mind your manners. As president, Teddy knew how to handle business leaders. Speak softly and carry a big stick. He liked to say, Teddy was tough. Teddy knew how to handle the Russians and the Japanese when they couldn't stop fighting each other. Teddy got them to shake hands and make up. He got a Nobel Peace Prize for that. Teddy knew how to handle the planet. He helped to create a system of national parks so the land and wildlife were protected. But Teddy Roosevelt didn't always know how to handle his oldest daughter, Alice. He told her that while she lived under his roof, she had to obey his rules. What did Alice do? She simply decided to spend her time over his roof. Alice was among the first women in America to drive a car, and she was also one of the speediest. Alice wasn't the only one in the Roosevelt family who liked to have fun. Sometimes the president joined in, happily playing alongside Alice and his younger children, Teddy, Kermit, Archie, Ethel, and Quentin. Other times, the president acted more like a commander in chief. Once, he was told that his younger children were using mirrors to bounce sunlight through windows of government offices, interrupting important work. Teddy had a staff member use flat, fags to, flags to single back a, a message. Attack on this building must immediately cease. But Alice's idea of fun was sometimes too much for him. Women are good for more than just cooking, going to church, and having children, no matter what the president said. Alice, do you have to have your meetings here? Alice! Teddy Roosevelt knew how to handle the White House pets. It was a good thing, because there were a lot of them, though not all at the same time. Josiah, Eli Yale, Loretta, a kangaroo rat, Manchu, Sailor Boy, Skip, Pete, a Gonquin, a one-legged rooster, Tom Quartz in slippers, Admiral Dewey Jr. and Father G. Grady, Jonathan Edwards, and several horses. Teddy was used to wild animals, too, so you would think that handling a snake, actually holding it in his hands, wouldn't be hard for him, and it wasn't. But handling Alice and her pet snake was not so easy. The snake's name was Emily Spinach. Emily, after Alice's very thin Aunt Emily, and Spinach for her green color. Alice took Emily Spinach with her wherever she went. Sometimes she drank the, draped the snake around her neck and soldiers, and sometimes she carried Emily around in her pocketbook. Not all the White House guests appreciated the snake. 
She's quite harmless, Alice tried to tell them. Secretly, she enjoyed the commotion. Sometimes Emily escaped. She liked to hide in the state dining room, where she had lots of company. But at one time or another, she probably got lost in every single room of the White House. Alice! Why don't you do something about Alice? A friend asked the president. I can do one of two things, answered Teddy Roosevelt. I can be president of the United States, or I can control Alice. I cannot possibly do both. Luckily for the country, Princess Alice, for that was Alice Roosevelt's nickname, was already mostly grown up. She got married and left the White House. Her father didn't have to handle her anymore. Teddy Roosevelt concentrated on being president of the United States. He did a good job of it, too. He was one of our best and most loved presidents. And Alice? She lived for many, many more years in Washington, D.C., long after her father had left the White House. Even when she was very old, she still didn't mind her manners. At her tea parties and her dinner parties, she would pe seat people who didn't like each other side by side usually right next to her favorite pillow. If you can't say something good about someone, sit right here by me. In fact, no one ever quite learned how to handle Alice, but for 96 years, she sure did know how to have a good time.